Well, good morning, everybody. Meteorologist Travis Klineski here on this Tuesday morning. It's a uh, mainly cloudy morning now for much of the area. Earlier in the night, we had some clearing, but uh, since the clouds have moved in, temperatures have actually risen. Here towards sunrise something that's not showing up very well on future cast there are some stray flurries out there this morning up here to the north is probably where we've seen most of any actual snow accumulation it's not much but there's a little bit much bigger issues off to our east there are winter weather advisories over into iowa nothing like that for our area so some of that clearing will continue into the morning hours here we'll get some sun in the middle of the day around the tri-cities and then that moves towards eastern nebraska in the afternoon new clouds rolling in from the west and northwest this uh, late this afternoon into this evening one thing i will mention mentioned this afternoon is we may see right in here a few snow showers. It's not showing up on future casts, but a few models are hinting at a few snow showers. And then as we push into this evening, we might even sneak in a little bit around the Tri-Cities for a time. But then later in the night, we'll start to see clearing skies. After a breezy day today, the winds will actually remain somewhat breezy tonight. Uh, it's going to be a cold night out there. And with those winds blowing, wind chills for some may drop below zero tomorrow morning. Now, during the day tomorrow, we'll see more clearing. So it should end up being a mostly sunny day across the area. A bit of a breezy wind, at least until here at 5 o'clock when the winds will start to die down. But somewhat breezy winds just making it feel colder again. It's going to be a chilly day out there, but at least the sun will be nice. And then new clouds rolling in from the north as another cold front sags south into the area Wednesday night into Thursday. That's a reinforcing shot of cold air. More clouds around. The winds are going to really pick up on Thursday, and there may be some light snow in the western and the northern parts of the area. So uh, may, maybe some very minimal accumulation here. Probably not much for the Tri-City. So let's take a look at our future snowfall graphic. And this is between now and Thursday evening. Again, very minimal snow. I am not expecting anything that's really going to cause any problems here over the next two and a half days or so. Most of us will not pick up much of anything. But again, a little light dusting. We saw it up north this morning. We may see more of that late Wednesday night into Thursday morning and during the day Thursday. But you can see how the snow is more of an issue off to our east and up to our north as well. There are some areas here, the Black Hills, but not going to be a big issue for the local four viewing area. Well, high temperatures today going to be on the chilly side again, especially up north with temperatures only in the upper 20s there. Uh, 30s for most of us might sneak in a few low 40s in the southwest. A colder night tonight as skies clear up later in the night. We'll see low temperatures into the teens and single digits. And the winds will still blow, so those wind chills will be down there. Single digits below zero for some. High temperatures tomorrow back to the 30s, maybe some low 40s in southwest portions of Nebraska. Tomorrow night, 20s, maybe a few upper teens. And then looking ahead to our Thursday with some brisk winds out of the northwest, It'll be a colder day, 20s and 30s. The coldest night and the coldest day actually come Thursday night into Friday, just beyond this three-day forecast here. Uh, could be talking about record lows Friday and then maybe record cold maximum temperatures Friday afternoon. Uh, it's not going to probably may not get out of the 20s there for highs on Friday. And then we start to see improving conditions through the weekend into next week. Some 40s returning, maybe some low 50s as well. And by Thanksgiving, maybe into the low 50s there. So, And the weather also looks to be pretty quiet for the week of Thanksgiving as well. So I'm not expecting any travel issues here in Nebraska. That's good news. So maybe some uh, little light at the end of the tunnel as we see some improvements. No major warm-ups, but at least an improvement for next week. Well, I want to thank you all for watching on this Tuesday morning. I hope it's a good Tuesday for you, and I'll see you all again on Wednesday. Take care, and God bless. Bye.